It's like Crocodile Dundee, Chuck Norris, and Tim the Toolman Taylor joined forces to split firewood. That's the best way I can describe it. things off by adding a little diesel extortion fluid to the super duty here speaking of uh, extortion did you see that Cummins was fined 1.675 billion dollars I'm not sure exactly what they did it says yeah, they got a $1.675 billion fine for installing devices on hundreds of thousands of engines to allow them to emit excess pollution. That's what this says. I don't know what really happened. I have no idea, but I guess it is the biggest fine ever for a clean air violation. It's crazy. I don't know where you guys buy your def but uh, let me know. I get mine just at Tractor Supply. It's about $8 in some change for two and a half gallons. If you buy this, you know, like at a gas station or a convenience store, I've seen it 24, 25 bucks. But yeah, eight bucks and some change at Tractor Supply. And uh, I've had people tell me that I should get it in bulk, but uh, it has a shelf life. I'm not sure how long it lasts. So I usually keep four or five of these on hand. Uh, I'd like to figure that out, how long it actually lasts and stock up on it some more. Yesterday we got a delivery, a uh, new couch, and I actually unloaded it with the skid loader. Uh, it's one of those sleeper sofas. Those things are heavy, but that's the uh, remnants from the packages. I'll take you inside and show you. I don't want to slow Melissa down though. She has been on a mission the last couple days all the christmas decorations cleaning vacuuming just putting everything away uh it's pretty nice we like to get all that taken care of before the new year some people keep their tree up for a long time and you know if you're into that that's fine but uh we like to kind of start things fresh you know what i mean so uh what do you think sleep your sofa you can sleep this way or you can pull it out, it's a little bed. We got this for uh, when Hannah and Tyler come. Yeah, it's perfect timing. It came the day they left. Yeah. So, but yeah, yeah, it's got the uh, bear on it, canoes, yeah. elk. Is just, that, now is that a queen size bed? It is, it's a queen. And the mattress is like that thin, thick. Like yeah, that, but it'll serve the purpose. Yeah, and Piper's helping me clean. You've been on a mission Cleaning here. Cleaning these floors, taking down the Christmas tree, the decorations. Yeah. If you want to see the Christmas tree going up and some things, go to my channel, Morgan's Off the Leash. I did a video putting up the Christmas tree and a couple other things that you yeah. can... Yeah, check you know, it out. If you're looking to kill some time, go check it out. Yesterday, or no, the day before was daughter Eva's birthday. Yeah. She's 19, so... It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, I like I like this couch. It's like a uh, what would you call that? Distressed leather yeah. or something? Well, it's fake, but yeah. It's fake distressed leather. That's the look I usually go with, the distressed. Yeah. Look. That's what this is. <laughs> and it's we, firm, we, it's nice, it's comfortable. I think it'll be good. We measured it. It it's not going to be open all the time, but if someone's here, you yeah. know, it'll come right out. Not yeah, not quite to the table, but I think it's a good spot by the window. Yeah, it's not too close to the wood stove. And I need to get blinds for the windows. That's I don't know why, but she wants blinds. I just, yeah, just because. Yeah. No one can see in here. I'm really not worried about anyone seeing in. It's just sometimes maybe I'm. I don't want the light coming in. 
Okay. Next up, we got to go get a little firewood down at the woodshed. So I have been wanting to find some time to build a little firewood rack right here, just in between the door and the window. And I was going to make one out of wood, but Levi and Kate got me this for Christmas. This is one of those ones, uh, you just use two by fours for the bottom, so it's adjustable. You can make it as long as you want, but I think Tractor Supply has these as well. So it is 42 inches high. And we're gonna go just inside the window. We'll go 36 inches. That'll be good. That's all there is to it. There's two of these. Need a couple two by fours. I think directions must be in there, but if you need directions to put that together, you probably shouldn't be burning firewood. Boom. Instant wood rack. The sun tried to uh, peek through a little bit ago, but it has been rainy and just kind of a heavy drizzle all day today. We were going to go out with the flintlocks this morning, but I can barely get that thing to go off in nice weather. Uh, so we didn't go out. I may go out a little bit before dark though. We'll see. I think that should do it. It started snowing uh, down at the cabin. I think they're going to get three or four inches next couple days. But around here, they're not calling for much at all. It's getting dark again out there, so I turned the lights on so you can see. But uh, that holds a pretty good jag of wood right there. I actually ran back down and got some more. But if I had to guess, that's got to be four or five days worth of firewood right there. I don't know. We'll see. All right, now it's kind of a uh, rain-sleet mix. Quite the mess out there. All right, now we need to head out and pick up father-in-law Ed's birthday present. I think he's going to be 82. No, I think he's going to be 83 years old, but I think we're going to get him something he's going to like. All right, I hope my father-in-law Ed doesn't see this video uh, before we give this to him. Uh, but we got him this handheld vacuum. It's a steel. I did not know these existed till about two months ago. And I bought one, and I love it. It works really well. It's got a bunch of attachments with it, a flexible hose, a brush, has a carry bag, and it empties very easily, and it has a lot of suction to it. But uh, I use it in the vehicles, inside the building. Uh, when you don't want to drag a big shop vac out, it works really well. It's kind of funny because I had been looking for something like that. You remember the old dust busters back in the day? You know, they were a good idea, but they didn't work real well. You can't even say they sucked because that was a problem. They didn't have any suction. But uh, these things work pretty good. And like I said, I was looking for something like that on and off whenever I'd think about it, which is every couple months. And one day I was in at Ace and I was walking through the steel display and I saw one of these and I'm like, I'll try it out. And I bought one. They're not cheap. They aren't, but they seem to work really well. So uh, I think this will be right up Ed's alley. Oh, we got to check this out. The Burrow got a new Super City aluminum dump body. That's the company that I'm going to go with when I get a 550. Now they just got a 3500 Chevy. I don't know why you'd go to all that and just get a 3500, but I'm sure they've got a reason. Or maybe they don't. All right, just got back to the house. The skies to the west look like uh, might clear up. If it does, we're gonna cut a little wood before the end of the day.
So, the best way to describe this, it's like Crocodile Dundee, Chuck Norris, and Tim the Toolman Taylor joined forces to split firewood. That's the best way I can describe it. By the way, I want to mention something. This is the third time that I've shown this machine on the channel. If you missed the last two videos on it, I'll give you a quick backstory. This is the Rex 600 firewood processor and it's made in Australia by Whitlands Engineering. Well, I'm in the United States. Carta Equipment, they are the sole distributor of these machines here in the States. So that's the backstory on that. This is not my machine and I'm not gonna be keeping it forever. We'll probably have it around for a month or so, do a few more videos on it. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know and there'll be a link in the description if you want more information. There's a whole, Whitlands Engineering makes a lot of equipment, not just this. They make big log saws to, to uh, load the hopper, all sorts of different things. So you can check out that link if you're interested. So, although it looked like I was just blowing through the firewood there, there's actually a method to my madness. I've been kind of experimenting a little bit and learning more about this. If you noticed, most of that wood was about 20, 21 inches in diameter, maybe 18 to 21, something like that. And I was favoring one side or the other. I mentioned the other day where these are, or where the blades are on the other side, Sometimes I'll put it right in the center, sometimes over this way, and I'm getting the right size firewood that I want. Another thing that I'm doing, I'm not moving it ahead as far each time. So the pieces are gonna be about this wide, but I'm only making them about that thick now. Before I was kind of making big squares. Now this is cherry that I just split. Normally I like to split it a little bit bigger anyway, but uh, it's pretty simple. There was a very, very small learning curve to this machine but each time you run it you pick up on little things uh, that just make it a little bit easier and make the product that you want so it's been just damp and miserable all day you know it hasn't been like above 35 36 degrees drizzle sleet just kind of a mess so we're going to report back from next to the wood stove so I'll tell you what it feels good in here i was just saying it's uh like 35 36 it degrees is. but it's just wet you know yeah. what i mean it's been a mess but you're gonna see this video on new year's eve tomorrow yes. morning that's right which is your dad's birthday yeah happy birthday dad and we took care of that gift but something i wanted to mention uh before we wrap this up we will have firestarter available at 4 p.m today okay. it will be back on the website and the reason we didn't put it on right now is because it sells out pretty quick and then we get a bunch of emails from the people on the west coast uh you know we publish a video at eight in the morning it's still what five or something yeah. out there so it will be on at four o'clock today and then uh keep that in mind i'll maybe make like a community post or something so good idea four o'clock today but do you have any thing for the new year melissa we're not big into resolutions but do you have any goals or anything I do. I like getting organized and cleaning closets and that sort of thing. And I've been working on that. So you've been like a machine lately. Just... Yeah. Mike's motto is when in doubt, throw it out. And I'm like, but that's to everybody else's stuff. Mike's not when in doubt, throw it out to his own things. He's when in doubt, throw it out. Here, Melissa, we don't need this anymore. I'm like, yeah, my, Mike, my it's stuff. It's the refrigerator. We need it. You know, he's, yeah, he's all about pitch. But um, yeah, so I'm working on some projects like organizing, cleaning. I got to redo a couple bedrooms. You know what? When people move out, families moving out, I'm uh, redoing their bedrooms. And turning you know what happens too is we have friends who, you know, a lot of people move around for jobs uh -huh. and things like that. And we never did that. Uh, and you just accumulate stuff. Yeah. Like a lot of my friends, you know, they move four or five times since we lived right. here right and each time they kind of clean out the attic get rid of stuff yeah. they don't need or sell stuff and so. when you stay in the same place for a long time Ooh. you can accumulate some stuff there's no yeah. doubt about it yeah i have i'm gonna go through the attic eventually but i think i might wait till spring on that project because uh we need a dumpster the attic it's, it's got to be stuff from when hunter was 
two, three years yeah, old. Yeah, it's not too bad, actually. I would say it was probably five, maybe seven years ago I cleaned out the attic. and Yeah, that's right. I remember that. Got rid of a lot of stuff. So it's not too bad, but there's some stuff up there. I have kids that climb up there and like bring back their stuff and they're storing it in our attic. Yeah. Did you know that? I didn't know that until I stumbled into like some old notebooks and backpacks. And That's I'm like, where stuff going to go. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, so those are my projects for the new year. And um, we're on a spending freeze. I told Mike, <laughs> no more spending January 1st. January 1st, so we got till... I have all day today <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Online. <laughs> but um, although we might have to break that deal... Our washing machine is giving us some troubles. Oh, it is. They sure don't make them like they used to. You know what I mean? No. And to get a repairman to come out is just a flat fee of $100. Well, a new one is like starts at 4 or 50 But you know what? We need so. to bite the bullet and buy a Speed Queen. Only way to go. Oh, yeah. We did look at those before. What happened? So they're, anyways, like yeah, super, we they're, they're expensive, but they last forever. Yeah, yeah. And if you check laundromats, that's what they run. Yeah, that is true. When but, you go to like a big box store or something and they'll come right out and tell you everything that breaks and falls apart on them. You know, on, on other ones and you're like, man, you hate spending six or seven hundred dollars. We had them front loaders, those things. Oh, they're awful. They got they big hunks of concrete in them. And Actually, Mike has an old video. <laughs> about one of my earlier old, videos yeah. is what I did with our Samsung washing machine. It is a long time ago. He shot it up. Shot it to pieces. It yeah. Was, uh, yeah. And that was pretty crazy. When you said that you were doing that, I'm like, what? What kind of YouTube channel are you running? <laughs> it's frustrating. But yeah, there might be another version of that coming up. I'm not sure. Now, this one is a General Electric or washing machine. And it's been fine, but don't you think it's probably five or six years old? Yeah, and Hunter runs it all the time. Oh my gosh, time. this kid. It would be funny if we get a Speed Queen and put like a coin operated thing on it. Oh, yeah, because Hunter, I, you probably heard us talk about before. He loves like, doing laundry. Loves doing laundry. We never have any dirty laundry in the house because mm -hmm. he'll empty all the baskets in every bedroom, even if there's a towel. A towel. He wants to run it down. Yeah. It's just his thing. And then he and wants I to do it. the wash. But I mean, you might see us wearing a shirt or whatever, and then in the next video wearing the same shirt. Trust me, it's clean because everything that comes off our it body could be the gets same washed. day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we had to limit him because we're running on a well. We have a well. Yeah. He wanted to wash everything like all the time. And I'm yeah. like, no, we're not doing that. So we got him down to like one load. Unless like daughter Eva's in town. She's home from college on break. She is close. She's washing. So then he steps into all that and is like, he put all of her, she had two loads going. And her yeah. load from the washer, he threw the wet ones in the clothes that were in the dryer. Yeah. Just he wants it done now. Yeah. But so that's that may, we might be in the market for a new washing machine. Yeah, but I think that's about it for today's video. I appreciate you guys uh, hanging out with us today. And don't forget, 4 p.m. Eastern today, we'll have the fire starter back on the website. Yeah. And happy new year. Happy Ever. new year. What are you guys planning for the new year? Let us know. Yeah. Do you have any goals or? Resolutions. resolutions anything like that let us know in the comments i like reading through stuff like yeah. that. yeah and i might be sharing more of my goals on my channel and, and a video uh that's something i'm working on but and what do you think about monday's uh football game michigan alabama is that who's playing yeah i think michigan we'll see <laughs> but anyway that's it for today's video appreciate y'all being here and happy new year happy new year